Hey friends, this is Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. In this video today, I will review a car media adapter from the Carlux company, also known as a CarPlay AI box. This is the Carlux Pro Plus model and it runs on the Android 13 operating system with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage that can be expanded with a memory card. It also comes with a SIM card slot so you can connect the device with internet or you can use the mobile hotspot connection for internet. Now let's first do the unboxing and then I will test the performance of this Carlux Pro Plus adapter in my car. So keep watching guys. So this is the, the Carlux Pro Plus device. We'll come back to this in a while. Let's check out the other contents in the box. Right, so you get a cable. Now this is a, a cable to connect the device with your car's USB slot. Um, and it comes with this converter adapter. So this is a type C and type A. So if your car has a type A slot, then use this cable to connect this to type A. Uh, or if your car has a type C connection like my car, then we would need to use this converter adapter to connect this with the car and the other end connects with the box. So then we get uh, the quick start guide, instruction manual, user manual, and a thank you card from the makers. All right, now let's have a closer look at this Carlux uh, Pro Plus CarPlay AI box or a car media adapter. Now it comes in the standard black uh, squarish design. You'll find most of the other devices in the market with the same design. You've got the name of the brand right at the top. You've got this ring, LED ring. So when you connect this, it switches on and this light comes up. Um, it's very, very lightweight, all plastic body. It's very compact and slim. And in terms of the connections, you've got the type C connection here. This is where you connect the cable that connects with your car. And on the other side, you've got two slots. One is the SD memory card or the TF card slot. And the other one is a data SIM card slot here. At the back, you've got some spacing and this is for the ventilation. So the chip, uh, the chip inside doesn't heat up. Um, other than that, as I said earlier, very lightweight, a standard design. Now let me uh, take this out and connect it with my car. And then we start testing the performance of this Carlux uh, Pro Plus CarPlay AI box. So keep watching guys. All right friends, so I'm in my car. I've got uh, the device uh, ready with me here. Now let me connect this uh, with my car. And what I'll do is um, while I connect this with my car, I would also like to uh, time the startup speed. So I've got my stopwatch ready here as well. So now let me connect this with my car. Let's start the timer. Right, so quite fast, about 19, 20 seconds. Uh, this is definitely one of the faster devices that I've tested on my channel. All right, friends, so this is the main home page or the landing page. This is the Android 13 operating system. Uh, now, this obviously looks very similar to some of the other Android 13 devices that I've tested on my channel. Uh, so let me give you a very quick overview of the layout here. Uh, what you find on the top left is the time and the connectivity. You've got three options. One is the 4G SIM connection. Uh, so if you insert a data SIM card, you'll see this getting activated. Uh, this is the Wi-Fi signal, which is active already because I've connected this device with the mobile hotspot uh, on my mobile. Uh, you can also connect this with the Bluetooth on your mobile through uh, to get to um, you know music, calls and other stuff. Uh, and once you connect it with your mobile, then you start seeing the contacts appearing here. Uh, then you've got three uh, other applications. These are the you know last used or the currently open applications. Uh, and then you get an option here right at the bottom left to see all the different applications that are available on this device. So you click on this, you get a full app view. So you click on back, so you get to this page again. Now you've got these two big icons. These are for navigation. So navigation, you long press, then you get a lot of other uh, navigation apps available that you can uh, use instead of the Waze. So I've, I, I prefer Waze, so I've selected Waze, but if you don't like that, you like Google Maps, you click on Google Maps and then it becomes your navigation default app. Now at the bottom, this is the, the shortcut bar or the docking bar. Here you can have six apps as, uh, as favorites. So you don't have to go into the app manager to look for those apps. You can set this up. So for example, you click on this plus button and look for the app that you want. Um, so for example, Disney Plus, you add Disney Plus 
and, and long press again and you can delete and then replace it with another one. Uh, so this is the main home page landing page but if you swipe it to the left then you start seeing all the different applications that are pre-installed uh, on this device. Now as I said earlier this is a full Android system it comes with the 64 GB of internal storage uh, with an SD card option as well so you can go to the Play Store or you can go to the APK installer and install more applications if you want uh, through the Play Store option or the uh, TF card or through websites um, but they've got quite a few of them pre-installed already these are the more frequently used applications that they've uh, pre-installed on this device all right so the first thing I would like to test on this device is the YouTube app so we click on uh, YouTube and I'm just checking the speed so it's quite fast to open the YouTube app and what I would like to test on the YouTube app is one of my videos where you can see the the audio and the video syncing all right so there doesn't seem to be any issues so the audio and video is completely in sync um, let me increase the the volume and I can use the steering wheel control uh, to use or to uh, operate this device so let me increase the volume through the straining control there you go as many of you would know superbox is a very well-known name in the entertainment gadget industry and they're celebrating their fourth anniversary this week all right so, so we can see that audio video is completely in sync um, and uh, the quality is quite nice uh, as well it's quite clear now again the quality also depends on the quality of the car screen um, you know most of these devices play uh, very high definition videos through the streaming apps but it all comes down to the quality of your car screen all right so the youtube app uh, is working fine on this on this device all right friends so now let's uh, test the navigation app now this device comes in with built-in gps system so you don't have to connect any external gps device with this uh, you simply need to go to the navigation app that uh, that you follow that you like uh, so let's click on google maps here and uh, it's very very fast to load and uh, let's uh, pick up a location uh, and it's quite quick to identify the location head northwest on 67th street toward 80th street all right so the navigation audio is also working we can switch it off um, the screen is quite responsive um, looks quite nice it's very fast to load the application and you can find uh, uh, a destination also it picks up those destinations and give you the best routes uh, quite quickly now the other very nice thing with this device is something called the split screen option now that option gives you uh, two apps running side by side at the same time so you can have navigation running on the left side and YouTube or any other application running on the right side uh, you simply need to go to this shortcut menu click on this split screen click on YouTube and then we should have YouTube on the on the right side and navigation running on the left side and you can in fact operate both of them together this is uh, definitely one of my favorite features um, in most of the devices you'll have this uh, split screen function uh, but this is a very very handy uh, feature in, uh, in these carplay devices All right, so now let's uh, connect the wireless apple carplay with this carlux pro plus device so we go to z link app here um, and then the next step is very simple so you need to go to the iphone open the bluetooth settings and look for this new device called carlux click on this and then you'll get a few messages so pair the device allow it to sync contacts and favorites and then use carplay that's it so uh, that's it's a very very quick uh, setup and this is a one-time setup you once you connect this uh, device with your mobile uh, every time you switch on the card the device will automatically detect the connection and take you to the home page of apple carplay so very very simple easy user-friendly uh, way to connect the device uh, with carplay and now this is the main home page uh, of apple carplay and then these are all the different apps available for apple carplay on your mobile so so i've got a question from one of the viewers uh, was to check if uh, on these devices when we have apple carplay running like this and uh, we switch off the car and come back after 15 20 minutes or the next day does the device automatically connect with my mobile and take directly to the Apple CarPlay homepage like this so we can do that test right now uh, so what I'll do is I'll unplug the device and then plug it back in so I've got the timer running already and uh, what we're trying to see here is that uh, one does the device 
automatically connect with Apple CarPlay when we switch on the car and two how long would that process take so it takes about 17 seconds for the device to go to the main home page like this one and now does it take uh, us to the home page of Apple CarPlay from here as you can see it's about 30 seconds already and uh, yeah so in 32 seconds it takes us to the home page of apple carplay so so it basically answers both questions one is it's a very fast connection to apple carplay two is automatically reconnects when you switch on the car all right so now let's try to connect uh, the wireless android auto system so we go back to this z-link app and then the next step is to go to the android mobile and look for a new device as carlux there you go so click on carlux pay the device and that's it so connecting to the android auto system is much easier you just have a couple of uh, you know messages that you click on and then uh, that's it so now the device will automatically connect with the mobile phone and then take us directly to the home page of uh, wireless android auto there you go so it takes a few seconds for uh, the device to connect uh, to the wireless android auto and then you know every time you switch on the car it automatically detects the connection and takes uh, takes you directly to the wireless home page just like we saw in uh, apple carplay so this is a standing a standard uh, home page of uh, android auto system you've got a split screen here uh, you've got navigation left media running on the right side you've got some navigation uh, some shortcut options right at the left side so you've got map uh, voice input you've got uh, calling options settings and you've got these three dots here that will take you to the full view of all the different applications available on the android auto system on this device which is connected with your mobile uh, so this is these are all the standard functions and features if you want to know more about it you can go and watch my other videos where i've kind of explained in detail all the different functions and features of apple carplay as well as android auto um, so all right friends so this device also comes with the mobile screen mirroring option uh, which is quite nice i really like this option uh, what you need to do is just go to the same z-link uh, icon here uh, then click on this mobile screen mirroring uh, pick up your phone so i'll do it on my iphone but you can do it on the android mobiles as well and then you have the instructions mentioned on the screen so what you need to do is just make sure that both the device and your mobile are connected to the same uh, network and and then just go to the mobile screen mirroring and click on this zg airplay and then you get the mobile screen mirrored here so very quick process um, i really like this option because then you can play anything on your mobile and get the same on the screen and as you can see it's very very quick uh, hardly any lag between the two screens yeah just a tiny bit of uh, lag i would say delay uh, but more or less you know it, it goes in the same direction same movement all right friends so I, now i will test one of my favorite app which is the live tv uh, streaming app so we go to the streaming app we've got some channels here uh, let's try to see if these channels are playing fine on this device all right it seems to be fine let's uh, skip channels let's increase the volume All right, friends, so this was a very quick review of this Carlux Pro Plus device. Uh, now, this is uh, one of the faster devices that I've tested on my channel. I'm extremely impressed with the speed on this device. It takes about 17, 18 seconds for the device to start when we switch on the engine of the car. It also is very fast reconnecting to Apple CarPlay or the wireless Android Auto when we switch on the car. So very, very fast reconnection speed. Uh, it is also very fast when we changing channels on the live TV app or opening apps like YouTube netflix navigation or searching stuff uh, stuff on the apps so all in all i think despite this uh, this device being a four gigs of ram it is one of the faster devices in the market so guys if you're looking for a fast carplay media adapter uh, this is highly recommended uh, you can simply go to the link in the description of this video that takes you directly to the official carlux store where you can buy this carlux pro plus car media adapter that's it friends thanks for watching this video